everyone, in Gigafile browser you have a demo scene for quick and very comfortable start. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's create some test file in the application persistent data folder. Let's call it test file and put here some test. Some test text. Right? And save it. Okay. And if we launch the demo, uh, we can choose directory. Uh, for example, if we go up in directories uh, structure, we can see all of them. And if we choose one and press choose, we got the path to this directory. Now we can do whatever we want with this path. Also, we can choose several directories. Let's try it. choose and we got a list of paths with all directories. Next let's choose a file. Here we can see a test file which we just created and here is the path to this file and the same for several files. Let's duplicate it copy. You can cancel and this is handled as a cancel option. Now do it for both. And we can see a list of files selected. Now let's see to the demo script. So we also can specify a smart color parameter which define entire uh, color scheme uh, style of the gigafile browser UI. Let's do it. Hmm. As you can see we change it entire design with a single color parameter. So every style is available. Try to play with it and set up according to your preferences. Right? Very cool. And if you need to do it from clean, let's create some does uh, some test uh, scene to to write some code from the scratch and see how easy it is to integrate um, the plugin test scene right then uh, test script let's it attach it to any kind of object. With Gigafile browser all you need just call the API with a single line of code. Let's try to do it. Beautify the form and then Giga file browser file browser let's do it like this mm -hmm. and choose file as a Parameters you can specify a callback function for choosing the file. So let's create it on choose file and as a parameter we will have input file path.
So once we start the game, uh, choose file, will open uh, the file browser user interface, which is totally cross-platform between all platforms and doesn't contain any native uh, libraries, references, which should be updated frequently. Okay, and now with this pass, we can actually read the text of the file or do whatever you need with the file. Okay, let's use some um, C sharp API to read all the text. And print this to console. Okay, fine. Now it should compile and we're ready to go. At the start of the game, the file browser opens and we specify the file. Oh, uh, I need what we should do as well. We need to create event system because uh, file browser uh, doesn't get any user interface events. So now we are able to uh, click objects. Okay, we uh, pick at the file and here is our some text, test text from this file. So our demo works, simple as that, that's it. Uh, good luck with the project, sincerely yours, Giga Neo.